Today we're going to create a Times Table Helper app. It's going to have a fairly straightforward screen layout, starting with your screen, and then below that, there's a horizontal arrangement component. The horizontal arrangement contains a text box where you can enter the number of the table you want to display, and a button which creates the table. Below this, we're going to have two labels. One is the table title, and you see it has no text property, and the other is for the table itself. Now you'll notice that at the moment, each of these just displays as a very thin line on the viewer because the height is set to automatic and there's nothing in them. But don't worry, we can still work with them by clicking in the component panel. Now if you haven't already created these components, pause the video and do so now. Now open the blocks editor and let's create the code. The first thing I'm going to have to create is a variable to store the table number that the user enters. So going into variables, I drag out an initialize global block. I'm going to call this variable table and it's going to be a numeric variable with a starting value of zero. And looking at my algorithm, it tells me that when button create table is clicked, I should set the table variable to the value that was entered by the user in the text box. So I'm going to set the table variable. Now I can go into it this way, set there, or I can just hover over the variable here and set table to, and it's the value entered in the text box. Now this event, the button create table dot click event, should then create the table header create the table itself, and then finally clear the text box, ready for the user to enter the next number. But because creating the table header and the table itself are two very clear stages in my program, I'm going to create a procedure for each one. So going into procedures, I drag out a to procedure block, and I'm going to call this create table header. And looking at my algorithm, the create table header procedure should set the table header labels text property to the whatever times table, the seven, the eight, the nine times table. So going into label table title, let's set the labels text property to, and we're gonna join three pieces of text together. So I'm gonna use a join block here, but you can see this join block only has two sockets. This is easily fixed. If we click on the sprocket wheel here, I can drag in another string block. A string is just a computing term for any characters. And now we have three sockets to plug our text into. My first piece of text is going to be the word the. And I'm going to leave a space after this word so that the next piece of text isn't squashed up right next to it. And the next piece of text is going to be the value of the table variable. So remember, I can go up here and just get global table and then another piece of text. Remember to start off with a space and then times table. So this will display the whatever the value is in variable table, times table. And that's my create table header procedure. And I can now add the code to call this up into my button create table event. The next stage in my algorithm is to create the table itself. Once again, this is a separate stage, so I'm gonna create a procedure to do that. So dragging out a two procedure block, I'm gonna call it create table. Now we're going to repeat the process of creating a line in our table 12 times for one times through to 12 times. So I'm going to go into the control blocks here and I'm going to drag out a block which is known as a for loop. And the first thing is to set the name of the loop counter. I'm just going to call it counter. And that's going to count from 1 through to 12 in steps of 1. 
So the loop variable counter is going to go from 1 through to 12 in steps of 1 and each time around that it's going to do something. What's it going to do? Well, I'm going to set the label times table text property to and I'm going to need a join block. And in this join block, I'm going to need seven sockets. So the first thing I'm going to display is the existing value of label times table. So I'm going to set the text property to what it was already and then I'm going to join in the rest of these sockets the next line in the times table. And that line will be made up of the value of variable counter times the value of variable table equals and then a calculation. So it's going to say 1 times 9 equals 9, 2 times 9 equals 18 and so on. So let's add the code to the remaining sockets to display that. So I'm going to get the value of counter then a text block and that's going to be a time sign so it's going to be space times space so we avoid that squashing up thing from happening the value of table an equal sign and then a calculation so math and times value of counter times the value of label and then one last text block this is going to be a special one this is going to take a new line so it's backslash n for new line so this code is going to say that for each time round the loop set the label times tables text property to what it was before plus the new line and we can now add this procedure to our button create table event. Lastly, I want to clear the text input box and redisplay the prompt that says enter table 1 to 12. So I'm going to set text box table numbers text property to an empty piece of text. So that clears any value that was there already. And there we are. That's all our code, so go ahead and test your app. And when you do, from the second run onwards, you'll notice one little bug. So see if you can find out what it is and work out how to fix it.